to notice with the new Mavic 3 Enterprise is actually how fast the system starts up. So let's just turn on the remote and the aircraft. Right. And it's already ready to go. Okay, so let's first look at do a screen record but I'm going to double it so uh, you'll notice that this is the new pilot 2 app okay so this is the same with the uh, M300 and the M30 so from now on all enterprise products will be using this app okay so as per the same you would have your if you tap on the upper left you will have your personal uh, account information flight records, your account name, uh, any geo-locking, uh, unlocking, uh, any offline maps that you want to download, you go here. Uh, the shield logo goes into all your security. Um, this part here, the max altitude is will change according to your location. So uh, just be careful when, but you'll need GPS lock for this to work. So just be careful when you start, uh, before you fly. Uh, the not logged in cloud service, when you tap here, it goes into your Flight Hub 2 as well as any streaming platforms that you already have. Flight route again is for your automated flight missions uh, album uh, to see anything you've recorded. Academy is for information such as the user manual and things like that. As on the M300 and the M30, if you tap on the word normal, you go into the health management system. So inside here, you'll actually see all your firmware status and your uh, status of all the equipment. So you can even check, for example, whether your firmware is up to date or not. Your aircraft, so you'll see if you have any accessories connected as well in this main screen. But once you tap enter camera view, you can then check your aircraft settings. Right. One of the things you note is uh, towards the bottom, you'll see obstacle avoidance. So that one you can set uh, whether it will break when it meets an obstacle or whether it will avoid or you just turn it off. Okay. Of the zoom capabilities of the camera. So as you can see, the are zooming in from one time and the distance to the target is roughly about 100 meters. And as we're slowly going towards the 56 times limit, you can see this is the kind of detail we'll capture at that limit. Okay. This is the maximum sharpness that we can get. And we zoom back out just to give you a reminder of how much the zoom is. Now this is also just a sample use case. So let's just say we have the uh, job of doing some solar panel inspections. So this is the thermal view. And you can already see the hotspots on the solar panels. And if you enable the uh, zoom link, so what happens is we have zoomed in already a certain amount of times. When we switch to the normal zoom, you actually see the image already zoomed in. So as you can see, we have pretty good detail. We can actually go down to uh, see each individual solar cell, whether there's any dirt on it.
and this is the thermal view so as you can see we have zoom link enabled so the same amount of zoom that was on the RGB is also same here on the thermal 